Okay, that was The World is Waiting for the Sunrise, and Don, I think Don was the first one to popularize that on the five string. Um, of course, it was played for years before that and uh, on many different instruments, but it was popular among plectrum banjos and uh, tenor banjo p- pickers. And um, Les Paul and Mary Ford made it pretty popular as well. Um, it's really not that difficult of a tune. Most banjo players play, uh, play it in C chord, but Don played it in G, in the key of G. And I didn't do his uh, little kickoff that he did on the original recording during the intro there. But uh, I'll show you his original uh, little intro he did. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing a G chord, E minor, A minor, D chord, G, E minor, A minor, D. Alright, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Dixie Breakdown Roll, which is... One, one, two, three, and back with the first finger. And we're going to do it on the fourth, second, and first strings. Like that. So what it sounds like is... Okay? And that's his little intro to it. That's all there is to it. And then we go right into the tune. And what we're going to do is we're going to brush down on the first, or the third and second strings, sorry, third and second strings. And we're going to come over here and we're going to use this partial, uh, this double stop, partial chord position here. And we're just walking right up to your G chord. And this position is... Uh, second fret on the third string and first fret on the second string. We're just walking right up to this G chord. Now, um, if you went over whispering already on the DVD here, um, these are some of the same double stops that we used in that, so you'll be familiar with that. Okay? And we're going to come right up into this G chord. And then we're going to come up here, and this is important, uh, in a lot of Don's playing, you think that he's going to start rolling, but a lot of times he'll come up and he'll start the roll on the fifth string instead, and it adds a little hop to it. Okay? So, and we're going to start rolling on the fifth string. leaving the first string open and I'm still holding down those double stops on the third and second string. Alright, now this is an interesting chord. It's uh, basically it's an, it's where the guitar player will be playing F sharp. It's, it's almost just like whispering in the beginning. Uh, just a different melody. But it's an F sharp. But what I'm going to do, or what Don did is it's a you're on the third fret on the third string and you're going to hit the fifth fret on the second string and leave the first string open it's kind of an odd chord Notice that I'm starting the roll out on the second string. And sometimes I'll start it with my thumb, but Don more than likely did it with his index finger. Okay. And then we're going to slide up to this partial G chord third fret on the or sorry the seventh fret on the third string and the eighth fret on the second string and 
this is the same thing we used in whispering. Okay. Um, now you can roll. I believe on Don's original recording, he just slid into it and did a pinch and pinch the first and second strings. You slide on the D, on the uh, third string and pinch the first and second strings like that. Okay, and you can vary it. Uh, it's really hard for me to show you exactly what I'm doing because uh, I change it so much. I may pinch it one time or roll it the next, um, but you can roll See that I roll it forward there. I'm rolling right to this position, just sliding on the third string. All right. Now keep that first string open, and we're gonna hammer on from the seventh fret to the ninth fret. Hammer on and just roll forward. And come over here and grab this note on the ninth fret on the third string. It goes to a B here. And we're going to go into an, uh, kind of an unusual B 7th chord. And I'm going to show you this chord position because it's, uh, we're going to do a partial uh, B 7th chord, but I want to show you this position that he's using because you can put this in any tune that you want to put it in. And what it is is you've got a regular F shape position, but this is a B chord. And instead of doing your normal uh, F shaped seventh chord like that you would do that anywhere so we're in a B seventh here this note is the same as the tenth fret on the second string okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down your regular, your regular B chord. Now your pinky's on that first string on the ninth fret. We're gonna change that around, keep that note mashed, and we're gonna come up here on the seventh or the tenth fret on the second string, and then the eleventh fret on the third string. And basically, your fingers are just one, two, three in a, in a line. All right, so that's a unusual uh, seventh chord you can play against any major F position. So if you're in a D chord, and you can do all kinds of things with this. So don't, you, you don't just stick to what I'm showing you here, just mess around with it, but that's the position. In fact, this is the, um, I remember the first time I figured this chord position out was uh, Don's version of Dear Old Dixie, where, he, where it goes to C, B, and then back to C, he would go. So... Use that chord wherever you want to, wherever you uh, have an F position that you want to play off of. The thing to remember is whatever F position it is, that first uh, string note out of that position is where you start it. So anyway, back to the tune here. Um, I'll play it up to that point, uh, to the B. So we go to this B, 
and notice that I'm starting to roll out on the second string again because I want to get that melody. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm not doing that whole position that I showed you. You can if you want to. It's up to you, but I'm rolling on the 5th, the 10th fret, and the 9th uh, fret. The 5th string, the 2nd string, and the 1st. Holding down the 10th fret on the 2nd and the 9th on the 1st. So... Alright, just rolling forward. Then I'm going to go to your C chord. And it's important to, to watch my right hand here to get these rolls right. To get, you want to get the melody in there. Okay, so B. And I'm throwing a little pinch in there. Pinching on the 5th and the 1st, holding down that C chord. Back to the 3rd string, still holding that C chord down. Back to the 5th. Doubling up on the thumb, on back to this partial G chord that we did before. And we're sliding back to this partial G chord down here that we started with. So, um, let me play that part for you. Okay. Um, at this point, it's going to go to an A chord. We're going to stay in this A. And I'll play that for you so you see what it's supposed to sound like. Okay. And what I'm doing is after the B and the C... back I believe like that on the original and all I'm doing is I'm holding that partial G and I'm walking back to this second fret on the third string then rolling forward and then walking back to that second fret on the third string again, but this time we're going into a D chord. So, all right, so to this D fifth position I believe it is and this is the same one we used in whispering for the E chord if you remember okay but we're doing it here in your D chord all right let me play all of it up until this point here I'm just pinching these notes, pinching the first and second strings, and then coming back and hitting the third fret on the third string. All right. So then we go back to the original. That was the bridge, so we're going back to what we did in the beginning. So 
all of that part after the bridge is just like um, you know the the first part. You just go right back into it. All right, you go back to that partial G after the C. back to that partial G that we did before but this time at the end of the song it like I said it's very similar to whispering because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to A minor D back to G except for this doesn't have a turnaround like whispering it doesn't go back to a D chord so uh, Okay, and what I did here, I played an A minor up here on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. I'm holding down the 7th fret on the 4th string and the 5th fret on the 2nd and 3rd strings. And I slide into it. And sometimes I double up on the thumb on the fourth string. I'm playing this A minor. And then I'm going to play a B minor against this D chord. The, the chords in the song go A minor, D, G. But I'm going to play a B minor against that D. So... up on your G note on the third string and follow it up with this little tag We're just rolling forward on the on the fifth second and first coming up on the second fret roll forward second fret on the third or second thread on uh, second fret on the fourth string and roll forward um, all right and Don usually always finishes up his breaks and tunes like that so all right okay let's play this uh, through one time slowly and uh, see if you can play along with me Okay, um, Don does another break on here where he uses uh, double stops or uh, the brush technique all the way through. And it's fairly simple. And I have my own little uh, things that I do on this, and I'll show you that as well. But uh, basically, we're going to start just the way we did in the beginning. And we're just going to stay on that partial G chord. Hit it one more time, then we're going to go to that uh, F-sharp 7th that we did before. I'm just moving my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Then we're going to come up here and grab this. Okay, now let me explain what I'm doing here. We'll play that from the beginning. Coming up here to that partial G that we did and sliding back. And now I'm just going to run down through this F position G. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush the fourth and third strings and slide it back and, and slide it back one and then slide it back to the original position. 
like that. Then I'm coming down to the third and second strings holding this F position G. Down to the first and second strings. Okay. And then I'm sliding up on the first and second strings to the D position G. Second string uh, is noted on the ninth or the eighth fret. First string noted on the ninth fret. Okay, so. I'm sliding up from this partial G to this G position here. All right, so. Brush down um, on the B here. Now we're going to do this B seventh that we didn't do earlier. This is your regular B seventh. Now you can hold, you can keep your fingers up here. I'm just moving my fingers so you can see what I'm holding. Basically, it's just a F position B to a B seventh. Now I'm brushing all three strings this time. C, all three strings, just a C chord, G chord, back to this partial G, <clears throat> to this A on the third and second strings, back to this partial G, to your D, Same as what we did before, but still we're not rolling it this time. So um, let me play it up to that point. Okay. Now I'm going back and forth between uh, brushing two strings and three strings at once. So I'm brushing three strings here on the C and three strings on the G. Now I'm brushing two strings, the third and the second, on this partial G and on the A. Now I'm brushing three strings on this D fifth. And then we're going to go back to the G. Same as the first part. Back to this G. And then at the end, it goes A minor, uh, B minor, G. Okay. Um, let me play all of that. And, and this time I did the A minor here up at the uh, top of the neck and the B minor so that you can do it here like we did the first time and um, like the first time we did it I showed you you can do the A minor to B minor here it's really like I said the B minor is playing against a D chord it's really D is what we're playing, but... You can do that if you want to. Like I always say, you don't have to stick to exactly what I'm doing here, or what Don did. But anyway, I'll play this double stop break for you one more time.
I just thought of something here. I, what I normally do, or sometimes what I do, is when I hit this the second time, you can also do it on that uh, F sharp seventh position. So you can, like I said, don't stick to what I'm showing you. Experiment with some of these other, you know. You can do it on that F sharp. You know, so you can do whatever you want to once you get these positions down. Okay. Um, also, if you play in a band and you want to do this double stop break, uh, one of the things that they did on the original recording was uh, when Don did this double stop break um, to make it sound, um, I don't know, it sounded kind of like almost like a train almost, but it really added a lot to it was uh, Mac McGahey did a certain shuffle with his, with his, his bow. Um, if you have a fiddle player or a mandolin player can do, also do this certain kind of a... A little shuffle like that with the mandolin or the fiddle behind this double stop break. It really sounds good. Um, go back and listen to the original recording that Don did and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to show you the high break that Don did. And we're going to start out down here at this D position and we're going to walk up from the ninth fret or actually the eighth fret on the second string to the twelfth fret. And we're going to roll forward on the fifth, second, and first string. Okay, and I'm holding down the twelfth fret on the first and second strings. Now we're going to do a little bit different uh, chord position, this time up the neck instead of the deep the uh, F sharp position we did here I'm holding down this is just like the B seventh chord that we talked about but we're gonna move this up it's the same position and it's gonna be on the uh, 13th no 14th 15th and 16th fret so the first finger or the first string is noted on the um, 14th fret, second string on the 15th fret, and the third string on the 16th fret. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. All right, now this is a weird little roll. Um, I'm hitting the first string twice. And the, the roll varies. Don does it a hundred different ways, but um, Okay, that's just one of the ways he does it. But that's a very common role that Don does. He, he does that a lot. And it's, it's, you go back and forth on the third and first strings. Whoops, sorry, let me start over. So, you're actually rolling forward in there. First string, third string. Okay. All right. Uh, and then we're going to slide into this G chord up here. So. And I'm rolling forward on, on the third and third, second, and first. And then I'm going to reach over here and grab this note while I'm rolling on the um, 17th fret on the second string. And sometimes I, I'll pause the roll just to get the notes in there. Alright, 
Um, I'm coming back to that note there. I'm just playing right out of this F position G up here. And then I'm going to slide up to your B. It's just an F position B. And there's that same roll. I'm rolling forward on the regular B. And then I'm going to hit a B7. And I'm going to slide into the C which is one fret above. And then we're going to go to the G. Notice I'm hitting the third string twice. I'm doubling up on the thumb. Back to this G up here. And then I'm going to walk back to this A. Basically I'm mimicking what I did up here. So I'm going to do that up here. Okay, let me play all of that for you. Well, sorry, let me start over. Okay, I missed it a little bit there. It's hard to get to, to play slow, but um, also you want to work on getting the notes clear as you can. It's hard to get your notes clear when it's this high up the neck. Okay, you're just playing that D chord. The same thing up here. Okay. And then um, you basically start back over. Let's see. Uh, and then we're going to change the position here once again. Um, instead of the uh, 14th, 15th, and 16th frets. We're going to flat the 16th fret on the 3rd string back to the 15th. Okay, so I've got the 1st string fretted on the uh, 14th fret, uh, the 2nd string on the 15th fret, and the 3rd string on the 15th fret. So, and you can either roll this or uh, you can do what Don does and he, he pinches it here. It's just a real uh, ear catching uh, chord. It's just really strange sounding. Okay, so. Just doing a little backwards roll on it. And again, you don't have to roll it. Um, it's not necessarily what I always do. It's just how I feel at the time. And um, But these are basically the positions to use. Okay, and then you're going to go back to that G. Okay, just like you did at the beginning of the high break. But this time, just like you do up on this break, you're going to go to an A minor up here on the 14th fret to the B minor. Same position, and you're just moving it up to the 16th fret. And 
and you end up on the 12th fret. And this roll, like I said, this is a real common roll for Don. He hits the, the, the third string one, or twice and then rolls forward. All right. So let me play that second break. Um, And that's basically the world's waiting for the sunrise.